Hello everyone, my name's Cameron, otherwise known as Kalimba Cam, and this is my tutorial on how to read Kalimba tabs. Firstly, you want to find the right tabs for your Kalimba. As you can see, I have a 17 key Kalimba, and the tabs I am going to use are for a 17 key Kalimba. For the purposes of this video, I will be using tabs for You Are My Sunshine from 44 beginner songs for the 17 note Kalimba in C, sent to me and written by Mark Holdaway from Kalimba Magic. As you can see, kalimba tablature is generally read from bottom to top. The notation of notes on most tabs will resemble the keys on a kalimba. As you can see, the notes alternate just like they do on a kalimba. This system is used to make it easy to replicate the notes from tabs onto a kalimba and vice versa. The numbers on the right hand side of the tablature signify the number of the bar, otherwise known as four notes. The horizontal black lines signify the end of the bar and the double horizontal black lines signify the end of the song. Now to read this kalimba tablature, it is important to understand some basic music notation that is generally used for most instruments. This note is known as a crotchet, and it lasts for one beat. This note is known as a minim, and it lasts for two beats. While not used in this score, a semi-breathe, or a whole note, is often used in tablature to represent four beats. And finally, the dotted note. When there is a dot next to a note, such as in this piece, the dotted minim, it means that you take half of the value of that note and add it to that note. So in this instance, half of two beats, a minim, is one, so two plus one is three. So you would play that note for three beats. It can be a bit confusing at first, but with practice, you'll get to learn it. So, now that you know how to read the tablature, the best way to start learning is to start playing. Try practicing slowly at first, and ease your way into playing the song. If this is your first time reading tablature, it may be a bit confusing, so you will definitely want to pace yourself. It also helps to get your musical ear involved. Try searching up the song that you're learning online, and hear an example of how the song is usually played. This will give you a better idea of how the notes are meant to be played, and you may even find yourself able to play the song without constantly having to pay attention to the notes. Listening to how the song is played will also help you further enhance your tablature reading skills, as you will be able to associate the notes that you hear with the notes that are written on the page. Keep practicing until you feel comfortable with the song. Then, you can start speeding it up, eventually reaching full tempo. The idea is that you will eventually feel comfortable playing the song without the tablature. And that concludes my video on how to read basic kalimba tablature. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like, and consider sharing it with anyone that may find it useful. If you want to see more kalimba tutorials and videos, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.